Now let's take a look at how to use parentheses with the TI-84. We're asked to evaluate the expression 3 times 5 minus 11. However, that 5 minus 11 is in parentheses, which shows us that we need to evaluate this first. So this is 3 times quantity 5 minus 11. The way we enter this is by using the parentheses keys located directly above the 8 and the 9. And I can enter this just as it appears in my expression, 3 times quantity 5 minus 11. And this will tell the calculator to perform the operation 5 minus 11 first, and then multiply. The calculator has an inherent understanding of the order of operations. And then, of course, to find my simplified evaluated value, I simply hit Enter. Now let's look at a more complicated expression that includes both subtraction and negative symbols so that we can practice what we learned previously. Here I'm asked to find quantity 5 minus negative 7 and then take the opposite of that, so negative quantity 5 minus negative 7. Note the use of parentheses around the negative 7. These parentheses are not to denote that there is any operation that should occur here first, but rather to simply show that the negative sign preceding the 7 should be grouped with the 7. And just as before, I can type this in exactly as it appears. I have a negative sign, not a subtraction symbol, so I use the correct key. Parentheses 5 minus, and in this case I can choose whether or not to include the parentheses. The calculator will correctly uh, perform the operations if I just enter them in like this. However, I will add the parentheses just so that we can see that the calculator does not mind nested parentheses, that is one set of parentheses inside of another. And upon hitting enter, I will find my evaluated expression is negative 12.